This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Johnson and the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Big opening. He's to the 40. He's taken down. That's the 49. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Nice run there. That'll make it second and four. it up the middle for a nice run. From the 41-yard line, third down. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Give to the tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick throw, incomplete, wanted his receiver. Second and ten. Ball on their own 42. Up the middle. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Tyler gets it on the inside. Tackle around the 41-yard line. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. Fights forward to about the 40. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll make it third and nine. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. He put a little bit too much mustard on that throw, and it got away from him. Crawford is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. A one-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Second and 11. Ball on the 19. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Makes it out to about the 40. You love having this kind of weapon. You already know what kind of damage he can cause in the passing game. And here you can see what he can do when you hand the ball off to him. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. And he's tackled at the 39. the 50. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop at the 44. Call the game 12 yards. First down. Yard line. Number 33 brings him down to the 39 yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Five wide. Throws and it's incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. the first. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Did you see how calm he looked as he stood back there and read the defense? When you know what you're doing and what should be happening, it makes things a lot easier. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 19. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Takes the ball inside. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Play 13 of the current drive. Throw, incomplete pass. 
It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Nebraska is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. Three nothing, Nebraska. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll take it from the two. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 31. Complete. He's got room. He's taken down at the 44-yard line. From their own 42 yard line, second down. And he hits him hard at the 38 yard line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block, as they found out right here on this play. From their own 38 yard line. Third down. Aaron and out long. Through his hands. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Crawford to punt. He's tackled at the 27. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Ball start offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Rose down the middle. Tackle at the 42. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. It cannot let these receivers get behind them. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Nebraska holds a field goal lead. They go with a run, and he carries the ball for a nice game. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. That'll make it second and four. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 3-0, Cornhusker. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Nice run up the middle. The option.
him to the tailback good for about four yards. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Tyler fields it at the seven. Gets to about the 27-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Pitch play to the left. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. and run down. So it's the defensive end that comes up with a sack. Again, they brought the blitz, and the defensive end was able to get free and fight his way into the quarterback. Third and long now after the sack. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. Crawford awaits the snap. And he just got stood up right there. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nebraska is up by six. He fights forward to about the 46. Second down and nine to go. All on their own 46. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's a deal of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. That's a great tackle. It's a 34-yard line. Tackles him hard at the 31. Gain of three on the play. First down. From the 31-yard line, it's first down. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Nebraska up six. He 
decent run here, right side. That'll make it third down. From the 30-yard line, third down. And they got him. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Gets out to around the 28. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That's a game of two on the level. That makes it fourth and inches. Crawford is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nebraska with a six-point lead. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. yard line second down here's an opening he's brought down in the open field there's a flag on the play holding, holding offense, offense. <laughs> holding penalties can Still really kill down. momentum but sometimes, if you don't hold, your quarterback can take a pretty good shot. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for the That makes it third and one. Open field. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. The Cornhuskers will use their first time out of the half. Nebraska is up by six. Throws a bullet over the middle. And he's tackled right around the 34. Jones makes the tackle at the 34-yard line. 
That makes it first and ten. ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. He gets rid of this one. yard line. Third down. Quick throw. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Johnson gained six yards with a short completion. They're about four yards away here on second down. Inside give, and he's taken down around the 15-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the seven. Nebraska up six. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Gets to about the five-yard line. This one should be makeable. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. six and he's taken down at the 25 yard line well it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle that's certainly what we have right now yeah give credit to both of these defenses I mean they, they're playing with a lot of energy and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage and at this point they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last which ended with a punt Seven yard line. It's second down. Well, we've played a half of football. Nebraska's lead is nine. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Need ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for a defense? Well, it's, it's so much fun. You start with a defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on a whole defense. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call.
All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Tyler takes it from the six. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. Nebraska is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. They go to the run, and he's tackled in the backfield for a loss. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 19. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. I think the secondary caught a break there with that ball being overthrown to the tight end. I know he's a big fella, but he's still a playmaker, and that had big play written all over it. There's a strike complete. Brought down to the 32-yard line. From their own 32-yard line, first down. Strike complete, and he's down. That'll make it second and seven. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it third and seven. So we're looking at another third down here. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 38 yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time this defense will be playing on their heels. yard line he's taken down at the 37 that brings up second and nine. here's the eighth play of the series Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive linemen and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. throw he caught it and he has it on the corner and they push him out at about the 41 that'll bring up fourth and 13 and they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback so we're just about ready to return to action complete over the middle. Tackle at the 35-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass.
from their own 35 yard line. First down. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 49 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Here comes the pressure. And he's going to be sacked. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Tackle made around the 44-yard line. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instincts. Steps up. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 27. Makes the catch. From the 27 yard line, it's first down. for the offense. He had his hands all over that ball. He just couldn't bring it in. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They bring him down in the backfield. The option is all about timing. And on that play, the timing was just off. That's going to happen sometimes. That brings up a second and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. Nice run there. Sims gains about five yards on the option play. That makes it third and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Touchdown, Cornhuskers! They'll go for two in this situation. He's in for the conversion. From the center. And he just got drilled. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this goal. Well, if you want to ruin a drive, just grab a hold of a defender's jersey. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Makes it out to about the 29.
It's first and ten. Ball in the 29. Looks middle. Got his back. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. There he goes! Makes it to the 47. They've obviously found the formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. Scrambling around. Dives forward. And he has a huge gain. And I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him. And he takes off. Ends up with a great run. From the 35-yard line. First down. A nice job by the offensive line. And they pick up a gain of eight. But I love the toughness here by this quarterback sitting in into the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. You know, at that point, I think Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Kicks up. And it's good. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 17-3, Nebraska. Minnesota to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And he tackles him hard at the point. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play. I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. From their own 20-yard line. It's second down. He fights forward to about the 23. Quick throw incomplete. Waters receiver. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Hoskin waiting the return. Hoskin fields it at the 40. He makes it to the 48-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That makes it six and six. From the 47-yard line. 
Second down. And down he goes around the 49-yard line. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. Nebraska's in front by 14. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Gets it out quickly. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Seven-yard scamper on the keeper. Second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's taken down at the 49. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run. But they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. That was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Try to change the field position with his kick. He fields the punt at the 13. And down he goes at the 19-yard line. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive, but I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. Second and eight, ball on the 22-yard line. this ball into the end zone, you're looking at a one possession game. First and ten, ball on the 42. down at the 39.
offense lays it out. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Shotgun and five wideouts. And they make the stop at the 25 yard line. From the 25 yard line, it's second down. He's immediately tackled behind the line. A one-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up third and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. They come out on an empty backfield. A sack on the play. That makes it fourth and one. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The kick is up. And he splits the uprights. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's into the open field. Tackle around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, first down. Taken down at the 29. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home. The blocking wasn't there. And down he went. it out to about the 20. They run the option and the pitch man will get credit for a nine yard gain. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Makes the catch, and look out. He's tackled around the 18-yard line. 
love to watch quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down, they get a new set of downs. made around the 22 yard line there are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down but when it's that bad i don't care who you are you're going down for a loss takes it up the middle for a nice run johnson picks up about four yards on the play and they'll look to convert here on another third down empty backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers and a quick throw. And he's tackled at about the 11. It'll be short of the first after the completion. A good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Just over two minutes in the game. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Nebraska gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Now you're getting into pretty desperate time. You've got to be going for the end zone and just hope you can recover the onside kick. We're about set to start things up again. And down he goes at the 25. A five-yard gain. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play. That's always a good game. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. And he's hit immediately. Feeds it to the back. He's at midfield. And he's finally taken down at the 29-yard line. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 29-yard line, second down. Throws oh. complete, he's hit right away. Just over a minute left. Looking for his man, incomplete. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Quick strike to the receiver. And he is drilled at the 17. Stops the clock with a spike. Tenth play of the drive. This one away. 
And again, they're going for it on fourth down. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. Big touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game. He makes the PAT. A 12-play, 79-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. The score now, 20-13. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 2013, Nebraska. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.